High above the slums of the old quarter, Valeria the bounty hunter stands within yards of her prey. Notorious brigand and child murderer, Rotworth Skelman. Best come quietly, Skelman. The warrant says you're worth a hundred gold crowns, dead or alive. If you want me, you're gonna have to come and get me. Cloaks flapping in the breeze, the two step forward and face off in the center of a rickety wooden bridge, which I'll show you how to make on today's Dungeon Craft. So today I'm going to show you how to speed craft a simple wooden bridge about one inch wide and about six inches long. And of course you can adjust your bridge to whatever length you need. This bridge is not made of wood, it's actually made of foam. And I like that for several reasons. One, it is indestructible and it'll never wear out, it's never going to chip. And the other, you can make it in about a half an hour instead of waiting for wood glue to dry overnight. The material we're going to be using is a small sheet of this black foam. It's made by a company called Creatology. There, I've frozen it for you. I got it at Michael's. It sells for 99 cents a sheet. You can see here it's a quarter inch thickness. That's the thickness you want. My palette is going to be burnt umber, raw sienna, and honey brown. I'm going to use cheap acrylic craft paint. There's no reason to use expensive paints for this. As always, I'm going to be using my trusty metal ruler and some old paint brushes. One's got like a chisel tip, one's got like kind of a medium tip. These are old brushes, they're very hard, and I often use them for dry brushing. I'm a really lazy crafter, so I'm going to make the width of the bridge about the same width of this ruler. I guess it's about an inch, so I'm just going to measure it out with my pencil. And cut with my X-Acto knife. I'm going to make a couple of passes, just pressing gently because I want it to be a really clean cut. I'm going to make this bridge 6 inches long, but 4 inch bridges and 5 inch bridges can also be useful. And you might want to make a bunch of bridges at the same time. Because as you're waiting for the paint to dry on one, you can just move to the other. So feel free to make 2 or 3 bridges at the same time. So I've arranged the colors from darkest to lightest. And I'm going to paint a brown line about the width of the brush across the surface. Here it is close up. Notice I'm not getting really great coverage. There's a little black still showing through, but that's okay. We'll just wait till it dries and then we'll go back and do it again. Don't forget to do the sides. You're gonna line up the planks and just go right down the edge. I do both sides and I wait 5 or 10 minutes and at this point the paint on the top is going to be dry so I'm going to give it a second coat. Then go back and do the sides as well. This paint dries really dark so when you see it here it's very light but that's because it hasn't dried yet. Next I move to the raw sienna and I'm wiping it off on my plate and then on my paper towel because I just want to make sure I don't get too much on the surface I'm just kind of feeling it out. If you have too little paint on a brush, it's not really a problem because you can always add more paint. Here it is close up, and I don't want to give you the impression that it's dry brushing. It's more like a blending where you put that little bit of color in the center of the plank, and then you kind of go back over and smooth it out, spread it out, till it looks like you've got a wooden plank. Every surface on which you paint has a different feel, and this foam, it really absorbs the paint very quickly and it's easy to blend the paint. So I didn't speed up, I deliberately didn't speed up this section and I'm, I'm showing you everything including how I take the extra paint off the brush. Here it looks like I might have put too much paint on and what I do is I go back after three or four planks I go back and I blend them all by rubbing the brush which now has very little paint um, but I rub it very hard uh, on the surface blending those colors together. This is my second pass. You can see I'm taking more burnt sienna and I'm really rubbing it in and I'm making sure that it blends so that it looks consistent. This is the bridge 10 minutes later after the paint is dry and I wanted you to see this close up. It dries a lot darker. 
This is the final step, the honey brown, and here I'm really wiping off on the paper towel. This is like dry brushing. Now that there's already paint on the surface, it's got like kind of like a grain, and I'm just going over it lightly right down the middle. Very little paint on the brush at this point. Here it is close up. Very little paint on the brush, and I'm really, first I press light, but then I press it down increasingly hard, the brush, going back and forth, blending it in. Here I'm hitting the edges as well on the side. That's where the light would hit it. And wow, that's a terrible camera shot, but that's what the bridge looks like when it's done. Just hit it with some testers dull coat or another sealer and your bridge is ready for the table. Although it may not look as good as a real balsa wooden bridge, it has the advantage in that it's never going to break and it's so light, it's virtually weightless. So if you like this video and you found it helpful, give it the thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, put them below. Please share this video with your friends. Once again, I'm Professor Dungeon Master for DungeonCraft. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the table. And may all your rolls be 20s.